we were just here two weeks ago but hey might as well complete the installation right you've seen the thumbnail we have another curtain motor actually Zemi Smart sent me all the curtain motors at the same time it just took me a while to install all of them and this last one is a bit interesting let's talk about it this one is a lot similar to the one I installed in this room the only difference is this one connects via Zigbee while this one in this room connects via Wi-Fi it's a bit harder to install only because you need to find the right size of the curtain rod so that you can install the motor. I've actually had challenges in the past with the first one. If you want to see that, you can click right here. But this one is a bit more stable, accurate, and cleaner. And you won't need to have the curtain rope to actually install it. Sounds good, right? Let's find out. The unboxing is pretty straightforward. It's literally just the box and the components. There's no suspense and no special things to expect here. It comes with an adapter, several manuals, and the hinges and the brackets you'll need. The Zigbee module for this one comes in separate, like an add-on. Honestly, I would have preferred it if it was built into it. And then you have the motor itself. This one is longer than the first one I reviewed and a bit heavier too. The Zigbee dongle also comes in with its own manual. And then lastly, you have the remote. This actually looks and feels nice, complete with batteries and the mounting plate. And that's it. For this one, I actually wanted to test it first in this room and make sure everything is working before even installing it in the curtain rod itself. Because it's just so much hassle to take it apart once you have it in, so I needed to make sure that everything is working as intended. The setup process was not too straightforward as I wanted it to be. You basically have to set up the motor with the remote first, and once you got that figured out, you then set up the Zigbee dongle to your Zigbee hub. And the last step is to set up your motor with the Zigbee dongle as the dongle now functions as the secondary remote. A couple of additional steps, but at least this one works with Smart Life, which is always a plus in my book. So the installation should be pretty easy now, right? Well, not exactly. Taking down the curtains was easy. Just make sure you have some help if you need it since some curtains tend to be heavy. Inserting the tube was also straightforward. You don't need to take out the whole curtain, just unscrew the side which has the roller mechanism and insert the tube on that side. Put back the cover, test it, then put it back up. Now where I had a little bit of trouble was connecting the Zigbee dongle to my living room Zigbee hub. For some reason, my living room hub would not recognize the dongle. I had to reset the device three times before it even got recognized. Not a deal breaker, but a bit of a hassle. After that, it's just setting the curtain limits and you're good to go. And that's the end of the video. If you want to see more videos about smart curtains, you can click here or here. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.